Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Meredith and today I have for you the March 2023 spoilers for the Allure Beauty Box. So if you're interested in seeing what you may be getting in your box this month, stay tuned. A um, couple of quick things. I do have a link below if you want to use it. It'll get you some money off of your first box. I think I get a small coupon that I can use on the store but I never use it because it's a very restrictive coupon. Um, so don't worry about that. I'm just trying to save you money. On top of that I also want to let you know that they are running a sale for the next few hours and it's going to be uh, the first box for $10 and you'll be getting the February box if you do purchase it right now. In my opinion the February box was really good. Um, I'll try to link you in the cards um, if you want to see the unboxing video for that. On top of that I also wanted to let you know they are going to be offering a free annual bundle and that will be for um, if you are going to get an annual subscription it's going to be that $327 value um, bundle. Um, you do have to buy it directly through the other beauty box website um, so just telling you that. Um, I would say it's $23 per month and then if you do an annual subscription you get it for about $19 per month. I think that's what I just renewed at. Um, I, let me just get started. Um, I couldn't find any information other than at um, Hello Subscription so this is from them. This is um, the full spoilers. I apologize I'm getting it up kind of late just because I've been on vacation. Um, so just try to use today to catch up on some tasks. Um, so these are going to be the products that are in the spoiler for the March 2023 box. As I'm going to go through this, I'll tell you the reviews and the ingredients and anything else I'm able to find. Um, I'm going to be reviewing the products for the first time, um, in my opinions, etc. Um, so let me get started here. The first item is going to be a choice between these two Tarte products, except for you're not going to be able to choose it, so sorry I used that word. Um, basically, they're going to look at your history of your account to see which product you're going to get. I think I have gotten both of these, but I can't remember if it was in a BoxyCharm or if it was in Allure. But the first item here is the Maneater Mascara from Tarte, and it's a $25 value. It will be full size in the box. Um, so this is what the product looks like. This is the before and after, and then this is the before and after on three different um, eyes. And this is a 500 plus bristle brush, extreme curl, infinite length, massive volume, three giant reservoirs. Um, so let me scroll down. Um, instant eye lift with the Tarte's best selling mascara that finds and flutters every lash. Massive volume, infinite length, and extreme curl. Makes up eyes appear bigger and lifted with one coat. Ultra creamy formula conditions lashes, won't flake, clump, or smudge. Custom molded 500 plus bristle brush coats and separates lashes. Volumizes and lengthens. Ophthalmologist tested, safe for contact lens wearers. Dermatologist tested, um, has jojoba and carnauba wax. And these are the ingredients for you. Let me scroll down to find additional info. Um, so is it non-waterproof? It says only one version. Um, so I'm hoping that means it's waterproof. Can it be removed with soap and water? Can be easily removed with face cleanser? Is it waterproof? It is smudge proof and water resistant, so it's not waterproof. Um, so I'm kind of curious to know how it's going to perform on my eyes. Okay, and then they say this one is waterproof. I'm confused, so let me know if you've tried the product. 82% um, would recommend a 4.5 star rating with 5,450 reviews. It looks like most people gave it a 5 star. So, that's really long. Okay, A++, okay, 5 stars. Best I've ever used. Lashes are long and thick but not clumpy. Uh, okay. This one, one of the worst I have ever used. Tried dozens of volumizing mascaras ranging from high to low end, and this is easily one of the worst. Not deep black, but more of a grayish black. Consistency is sticky, heavy, dry, and difficult to layer. Uh, this person has thick lashes, so I'm wondering if that's why. The brush looked interesting at first, and if your lashes are thin, I could see how it could provide some definition, but ultimately, tiny bristles on the rubber brush are too short for anyone with thicker lashes. A lot of people like it, a lot of people don't like it. <laughs> that one particular person really doesn't like it. Okay, this is from Sephora. This is the Quick Slick, no, Quick Stick, sorry, Waterproof Shadow and Liner. I have gotten this. I think I got it twice, actually. So I think maybe once came from Allure and once came from Boxy. Um, also, just so you know, this will be my last month with BoxyCharm um, because of the announcement with Ipsy. Anyway, one side will be shadow, one side will be liner. 
And this is what some of the different ones look like. I think I got the rose gold luster in the past. Let me see if I can see on the picture. Yeah, it looks like this one will be the rose gold luster, but I might be wrong. So let me know below which one you've gotten in the past. Um, so it's a long lasting waterproof dual ended liner and shadow stick that won't crease, transfer, or smudge. Use it to achieve 30 second eyes. It has Amazonian clay. I think that's one of like the tart signature ingredients, um, but I might be wrong. Uh, mineral pigments and vitamin E. And then let's see. These are the ingredients. And then let me scroll down. This person said uh, it transfers, so keep that in mind. Let me know if you've tried it. It hasn't had the best reviews. I tried to find the website with the most reviews, which was Sephora. This has 3.8 stars with 60 reviews, and it looks pretty much middle of the road. There are like a few extra fives, but um, it's a super smooth, underrated product. Uh, super smooth, underrated for a great product, great lighter. Um, second color combo I've tried. Abs Aubergine is the best liner. It goes on smoothly with no tugging, stays put, and washes off easily with cleanser. This person says one star disappointed. I wanted to love great concept. However, the eyeshadow does not stay on even with eye primer. It disappears after a few hours. Not worth the price. Um, somebody said this one broke. So leave a comment below if you've tried it. I'm going to move on to the next one. So this is from Mud Masky, and this is the Vitamin Infused Eye Serum. It's $63. I did see it on Amazon, and I'm not 100% sure if that was the right product, but regardless of where I looked, it didn't have too many reviews, so I apologize. I do think maybe it was in an Ipsy, though, so leave a comment below if you've tried it. Um, 30 mLs, so 1.0 fluid ounce. It has a blend of natural vitamin C, and let's see, strong antioxidant action. Serum is ideal for all skin types and considered a superfood for your skin. It reduces dark circles under the eyes. Significantly softens the skin. Moisture boost, food, vitamin boost, useful and tightness. <laughs> this one's funny. Okay, so let me go down here. Um, so it has cockatoo plum, um, pomegranate, Pernilla frutescens leaf extract and red seaweed. And these are the full ingredients for you. So it does look like there are quite a few. Oh, they spelled cockatoo wrong. This is like that Japanese plum, but they spelled it cockatoo. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's, a, maybe it's different, I don't know. Um, but anyway, these are the ingredients down here. Oh no, where did that go? Wash your face and hands, apply a few drops under the eyes, leave on during the day or night. Um, so yeah, there were no reviews on here, so I just wanted to give you that info. Um, I'm going to go on to the next one. This one is going to be, it looks like kind of like a sample size, but it is hand cream, so maybe this is the full size. Um, milk and honey goat milk hand cream. So in the picture, it looks like it's one ounce as well, so I think it might be this $5 value item. Um, and it has, uh, let's see, I have heard about this brand from people who do like Costco reviews um, because they usually have like a gift set around the holiday season. Um, but let's see, five dollars, four stars, and two point twenty nine reviews. Sorry about that. And this looks like this is the texture. Not a very good photo, in my opinion. Um, Nourish and condition your skin without leaving greasy residue. Natural goat milk packed with vitamins and minerals. And uh, let's see, cruelty free, paraben free, non greasy, made with goat milk. Travel safe, made in the U.S. Luxurious milk and honey delivers deep hydration and pure joy when a fresh milky scent and sweet honey is straight from the comb. Okay, and these are the ingredients. So it does look like it's going to be pretty smelly. It's got fragrance right there. Plus goat milk. I actually don't think when goat milk skin um, creams and stuff, it smells like goat milk, but um, I might be wrong about that. Um, but let me scroll down. 40, no, sorry, four review, oh my gosh, my brain, 4.0 star reviews and uh, 29 reviews. Um, let's see, 82% would recommend. People, so the smell, smell is something that people talk about a lot. Uh, so I think it's like, depending on your scent profile. Um, love, love, love this hand cream. Uh, best one I've ever used. Super sensitive skin, especially winter, and it works wonders. A little goes a long way. It keeps my hands very soft. I especially love that it doesn't leave your skin with that greasy feeling afterwards. It is just absorbed so nicely by the skin. Very odd smell. 
It's great and moisturizes as well without being sticky. I have this in the pumpkin spice scent, which is great but strong, but this milk and honey scent is awful. I thought it was small, creamy, and sweet, but it almost has a minty floral smell to it. Huh, interesting. It's hard to describe, but certainly wasn't as expected. Obviously, some people love it, but to me, it smells a bit old-fashioned. Um, I, when I'm done with this bottle, I'm going to buy it again, but in a different scent. So, a lot of people really do like it, so let me know if you've tried it in the past. I'm going to go on to the next one. This is uh, Coats, I think is how you pronounce it. It's a flawless complexion, tinted facial mineral broad spectrum sunscreen spf 50 uh, has 1200 reviews and it looks pretty high rating so we'll go down to that 4.5 stars um 27.50 for the full size but i think it's going to be a sample size and let me scroll down oh my gosh Sheer tint works with your skin tone, broad spectrum protection, non comedogenic. Has 20% zinc oxide for all skin types, even sensitive, rosacea prone, or breakout prone. Virtually vanishes on, on, on most skin types. My computer is not doing well. Okay. Gluten free, preservative free, reef friendly, mineral protection, cruelty free, no chemical sunscreens. Personally, I have opinions about marketing like that, but uh, light, silky feel, visibly, Im virtually invisible appearance. No dyes or fragrances. Tint comes from iron oxide. No benzene was detected. Safe to use with tattoos. Okay, let me see here. 4.5 stars out of 5, 1,200 reviews. This is the breakdown. A lot of people tend to like it, it looks like. It looks like it's a good value for money. Let's go to most recent. Great sunscreen, about two times and have very positive experience. It blends well and doesn't leave a white cast. It doesn't have any sticky consistency. This person says two stars. I haven't noticed a scent, which is a bonus. The tint is very light for me. Um, but works. Doesn't really cover red, but does blend a little and not white. Unfortunately, so disappointed as it doesn't soak in or dry down on me and it's still sticky and tacky at the end of the day while only using one finger. At least it reminds me to wash it off. Can't really say how well the SPF works as I'm only using one finger and it's winter. I tried, but now I don't want to put it on my neck since it sits on the skin and will rub off on my collar or my clothes. I haven't used SPF powder to mellow out the oiliness, but I imagine this would hold too much otherwise that would be great if it worked may try to mix with australian gold as that was too drying for me and they are both mineral spf um so yeah those are the reviews <laughs> gonna move on to the next one so this one is um from miel organics it's a rosemary mint scalp and hair strengthening oil with biotin and essential oils Nourishing treatment for split ends and dry scalp for all hair types, two fluid ounces, $8.96. And this will be a full size. It has two fluid ounces. Um, it's infused with biotin and encourages growth for daily use, scalp treatment, and split end care. Nourish and strengthen. Um, smooth split ends, soothe dry scalp with a 30 essential oils, that's so many, um, and nutrients deeply penetrates. Um, safe for all skin hair types. Nourishes types 3A to 4C. I'm not sure what that means, but I think those are for people with um, textured and like curly hair. Okay, scrolling on down. Okay, this one is the one in here, so I'm going to read this. If it, increasing your hair length is one of your top hair concerns, then you come to the right place. For the women wearing their hair in protective styles, just a couple of drops on our, of our rosemary mint strengthening oil at your roots is what you need to keep your strands long and luscious. Um, so that sounds good that it's for um, people with all hair types, including um, folks with like natural hair. Scrolling on down. Oh, there's so many ingredients. Okay, there's so many essential oils and things in here, so definitely, definitely take a closer look. I am curious about it because, you know, I need to grow my hair, but um, sweet almond oil, I don't get along, so I'm going to have to patch test the heck out of it. Okay. 
Okay, 4.6 stars out of 5, 24,768 reviews. That is a lot. Um, five star rating, 75% of folks gave it a five star. Um, and then a breakdown, kind of what you would expect, except for a five star seems a little bit high, um, in my opinion, but let's go into the most recent. Absolutely amazing. All these are five stars. Oh, it looks like it was famous on TikTok. That it makes sense why it's such a high number of reviews. Moisturizing. Scent is also amazing. I use it six hours before I shower. Sometimes I sleep in it. And overall, does a really good job moisturizing my hair and scalp. Use with and without facial stones. What is facial stones? Uh, let's see. Hair growth. Okay, this person says that don't buy it on Amazon, so I would probably also agree. <laughs> I don't know. Um, this is going to be from the Belief. So this is going to be a sample size product. So this is the Aqua Balm Overnight Light Lip Mask. And it looks like it has Metacasticide, Centella Asiatica, which is Sika, which you find a lot in Korean products. It's like the Sika repair product. Um, and also Shea Butter. $22 for the full size. So again, I think we're getting a sample size. Radiant finish, hydrating, high shine finish, combo, dry, normal skin, dry skin. Um, born from Aqua Balm DNA with added Centella Asiatica, seek out to soothe and hydrate. It's a lightweight gel. And these are the ingredients. Take a closer look because there are some things that I think some people are allergic to or sensitive to. Going to scroll down. Let me know below if you ever think lip masks actually do anything because I feel like sometimes Vaseline is the most. <laughs> like it would be fine and it also is very easy to find. Okay, 4.4 stars with 1,960 reviews. 89% would recommend. Um, these are the um, breakdowns here. Let's sort by newest. Okay, it was already sorted by newest. Um, fantastic, it's wonderful. Um, for two weeks and my lips are soft as silk. My only gripe would be the packaging. It's huge. Pot is as large as some of my face creams. It's amazing otherwise. Yeah, I would say that I've noticed that about the Belief products is that their packaging is really big. Because um, let me show you here as an illustration. Because somehow like there's like a hump underneath here. So it actually doesn't need to be as big in my opinion. I don't know. There must be some sort of reason for it. I'm not a packaging expert. Um, anyway, this is much better than Laneige. I love that it has no taste and smell and I wake up with soft buttery lips. Chronic chap lips, so this is a game changer. Okay, so that is that product. I'm gonna go on to the final one. So the final product here is um, the Cetaphil Deep Hydration Skin Restoring Water Gel. And it's a clinically proven 72 hour weightless hydration. Going to move down. Um, so I think this is a sample size. So it contains hyaluronic acid, dry skin, dermatologist test, and normal skin. Um, it's cooling weightless water gel, clinically proven to instantly boost the skin's water content and maintain hydration for 72 hours. Improves the quality of sensitive skin. 72 hour weightless hydration delivers immediate hydration. Designed for sensitive skin, defends against the five signs of skin sensitivity and dermatologist test or recommended, sorry. Um, let's see. Instantly boosts the skin's water content and maintaining hydration for 72 hours. Slow release technology containing hyaluronic acid pa paired with polyglutamic acid to deliver immediate and long lasting hydration. Cooling gel facial moisturizer has an oil free, fragrance free, and dye free formula designed to be gentle and sensitive and dehydrated skin with hydrosensitive complex TN to boost the skin's water content while soothing skin sensitivity. Strengthens skin's moisture barrier and improves the quality of skin over time while also providing immediate relief from dryness, roughness, and tightness. Okay, it has 164 reviews and a 4.5 star rating. Sorry about that. Let me scroll down. 50% um, would recommend. It looks like people just don't click that. It's like an extra click. I get it. Um, but it looks like this is the breakdown. 
Don't waste your money, just like so sticky and tacky. Best one. Out of all the Cetaphil face creams I bought this winter, this one penetrated the most to keep my skin hydrated. I will be buying this restoring water gel every winter. Also, the Cetaphil products help my skin on my hands not to crack for the first time in years. Don't waste your money. Gel sits on top of skin and leaves a weird sticky film. So it does look like a lot of folks do say it's sticky. So um, yeah, leave a comment below if you've tried it. Um, and I think that is everything. Um, so leave a comment below. Let me know what you're excited for, if you're going to get this box, etc. I will be trying to get some more um, reviews and videos up for you, but um, I'm just trying to <laughs> catch up on work right now. So thank you again for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.